Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. You're watching Get Your Sax Together. And in this week's video, I'm gonna show you seven really cool stunt trills that you might not have seen before. So in this week's lesson, I'm going to show you some really cool stunt trills that I've developed over the years which sound great on bluesy tracks, on funk tracks, or even on jazz for effects. You might know some of them, you might not know some of them, and the last one you definitely will not know, <laughs> I guarantee you. And if you did know it, I don't know what, I'll give you a special prize. But just before we get into the trills, um, make sure you check out my Saxophone Success Masterclass. This is really awesome guys. This is like an hour of solid teaching, helping you practice less and improve faster. There's loads of great stuff in there. You can use that URL or you can click the link in the description. So go and check out the masterclass and let's get on with the lesson. Number one in the series is trilling from octave A to octave C. Now normally of course you would just use your first finger to trill that note but there's a limit to how fast you can trill it. So what I do is I take my right hand off the hook of the sax, take it over the top, and then I actually use my ring finger, but you can use any finger, and you're gonna hit that C key and flutter it as fast as you can. So I'm gonna stand up so you can get a better view of this one. So I'm gonna, instead of trilling it with this finger, I'm gonna take my right hand off the sax, over the top, I'm gonna find that C key, it takes a bit of practice, and then you can trill it really fast. Now to add a bit of coolness to this one, you can alternate between holding the A, a quick bend on that, flutter it back to the A, bend it, flutter it. Hold the A, quick bend on it, and then flutter it. And that sounds like this. The secret of this one is of course, finding that key nice and quickly to get over there, but that's just a bit of practice. Number two in the series is quite similar to number one because we're taking our right hand back over the sax, but this time we're gonna trill from G to Bisky B flat. Now normally you would use these two fingers, but we're gonna take our right hand over, take our first finger and our ring finger. And we're gonna, you keep your Bisky covered with your that finger, with your first finger and your left hand, and you drill the A key and the G key as fast as you can with your other two fingers. So, normally you would trill like this, but you take your right hand off, move it over here, and drill them as fast as you can. And just like number one, you can do bends on the G between each rapid trill. These are gonna work great. You have to just choose which key you're in. Normally it works really well if you play the fifth and the flat and seventh of the key. So in this case, the fifth um, would be G and the, and the flat and seventh would be B flat. So that would be a great trill on a C blues. Number one would work great on a D blues, for example, because you're playing A and C, but you can work it so that it's the root and the minor third, or just work out what key you're in and what trill you're gonna use for the best effect. Number three in the series is the last one where I'm going to teach you taking your right hand over. So it's another one in the right hand over series and we are going to trill from front E to high G. So it's exactly the same theory as before. You play your front E. Um, normally you would play your front E like this and then you would trill with these two fingers. But we're going to take our right hand over and trill with the same two fingers that we did for number two. Let's get a close up of that one. So there's your front E. Normally you would play front E, front G like this to trill. We're going to take our right hand over and cover these two, the A key and the G key, and trill it as fast as we can. It takes a bit of practice to find that, but it sounds like this. So once again, you need to just have a bit of practice to get your right hand in position fast enough because it feels really weird at first, but a bit of practice and you'll find those keys. That's number three. <laughs> Nothing particularly special for number four, which is trilling from E to G, apart from to get a really fast minor third trill, you can get 
a faster trill by taking your right thumb off the um, support hook and just bring your hand right over the top like this. So we're going to take your normal E like this and instead of just trilling with your thumb hooked behind the instrument, you're going to take your, take your whole thumb off and rifle those keys like this. That way you can get this really cool sounding rapid trill between E and G. Number five in the series is very similar to number four, but this time we're trilling from F to G sharp or A flat. Same deal, you're gonna take, instead of just trilling with your first finger with your thumb hooked behind the instrument, you're gonna take that thumb off, rifle it as fast as you can. Now, the cool thing about this trill is that you can hold down the G sharp key. Yep, not like clarinet. You can hold down that G sharp key and trill rapidly from the F to the G sharp. So instead of doing what you would normally do, which is um, keep your thumb behind the instrument, you're gonna take your thumb off and then rifle it like this as fast as you can. Now, when I do it, I've noticed I seem to do this uh, beaver paw, which is exactly what I told nobody to ever do when they play saxophone. But for this stunt trill, without your thumb on the instrument, I kind of do this <laughs> weird beaver paw. <laughs> it lets me do the trill really fast. Number six is so cool. I love this one. This is the side E thumb flutter. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to creep up from B flat or maybe A, B flat, C, C, C sharp on this left hand stack. You can do it in either octave. And then you take your thumb off the instrument again and you rapidly flutter the um, high E key on the side with your thumb. So the way it sounds most effective is hit a note, flutter, next note, flutter, next note, flutter. So I'll give you a close up on that one. You're gonna hit maybe an A, B flat, B, C, and you're gonna hit that note, flutter it, flutter it, flutter it, flutter it like this. And it helps to do little scoops into the notes as well. So this is what it sounds like. And it, it really helps if you finish off the phrase with a nice bluesy, a couple of nice little bluesy notes. For example, in that, yeah, when I just played it there, I, I was in G. I went up from um, A or maybe B flat, B, C, C sharp. You get to the D and you play D, B flat, G to finish off the phrase. So you can use that nice little flutter. You'll hear that on a lot of pop solos. That's one of my favorites that is, that's fantastic. Now, last but not least, here is the Rogue Beast number seven, which is probably the most impractical trill you've ever seen in your life on saxophone. But <laughs> I'm still waiting for the day when I can use it and it's gonna be great. It's um, a new way of trilling from low B to low B flat. Now, what we're gonna do is, because obviously trilling from low B to low B flat is very difficult indeed. One of the, probably one of the hardest places you could trill. What we're gonna do is, you're gonna take your thumb, you're gonna move your thumb over onto the F key, and then you're gonna stretch that finger across, and you're gonna manually manipulate your low B flat key with your first finger of your right hand. So check this out. In your left hand, you've got the B key down. So you basically finger a low B, thumb comes over, first finger makes space, and then look, you're just going to tickle that key manually. <laughs> I bet you've never seen that one before. So that last one, number seven, is a super fun way of trilling from low B to B flat. 
even though it's actually completely impractical, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> So that's it for this week. A bit of fun, another intimate one-to-one -one masterclass style lesson teaching you seven cool trills, which can really, well, they sound cool and you kind of look cool as well, let's be honest. So I hope you enjoy experimenting with them. <laughs> and if you bought me a coffee, thank you very much. You can use the link to do that. Don't forget to check out my free one hour saxophone success masterclass because it's awesome. And until next time, practice hard, practice smart and enjoy your music. See you later. Hi, I'm Jamie Anderson. No, I'm not. Pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. Um, but a little...